We're here at White Harvest Farm today, checking out all the delicious Look at the fresh big cherry tomatoes. <laughs> Did you like that? So many yeah. variations of tomatoes, cucumbers, onions. We have fennel, zucchini. Now Marie's gonna get some broccoli. Got broccoli. They're in here somewhere, along with all the greens. Delicious, Love nutritious the greens. So Broccoli, but never the never the, the green, yeah. right? Yes. Well, you know, I have learned so much from the people who visit our market that the greens are delicious. Right. Such a beautiful farm. You can come out here and volunteer. Fields and fields of broccoli, broccoli green, kale, kale, fresh, kale. fresh kale, look at that. I have already munched on so much and they are so sweet that you never get that in a Publix or a commercial Walmart stores. Sunflowers. We're so excited to be here at White Harvest Farm today. Mallory is going to give us a tour of the farm. Yes. Volunteers are always welcome. Thank you for having us, Mallory. Yes. So much fresh produce. Um, it's always a great idea to eat healthy and support your local farms and local businesses. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what you're doing? who's on our staff and he 
uh, looks at the soil under the microscope and uh, we're basically uh, testing different um, inputs and then measuring the yield and using that uh, to collect data on basically growing food with biological inputs. And so um, what biological input means is it's a, a bacterial, fungal, uh, micro, rhizal, any, any microbiology that's used uh, to enhance the growth of plants and enhance the, the, the microbiology in the soil. So that's what we're studying with the grant. And that, Very um, interesting. Thank yes. you for sharing that. You're welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, so please come visit us. You know, we, we offer produce for sale on Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So that's the best time to come purchase produce. Perfect. Tell us a little bit about the types of produce that people can come and purchase. So the produce, all the produce here is grown organically. Awesome. Um, and right now we have the tail end of all of our cool season crops. Okay. So for us, Cool season crop is our broccoli, our cabbage, lettuce, um, kale, mustards, collard greens. So we're kind of reaching our tail end of that, uh, but we still have that available. We've got mustard greens washed and bagged, some broccoli today available, as well as collard greens. And then um, we also have our warm season crops coming in. And those warm season crops are squash, cucumbers, peppers, uh, tomatoes. Delicious. We were just taking a look at all the different variations of tomatoes that you have here. Isn't it, isn't it beautiful? beautiful. Yeah, so we're growing the Cherokee purple tomato. Purple um, tomatoes. Cherokee purple. They're not actually purple, but they um somewhat when when, when you slice them, they're they're, they're an heirloom tomato. for different stuff, moving inputs around, um, okay. all these weeds around, turning our compost piles. Sure. Yeah. We see a lot of greens over here. Yeah. There's some mustards I see and um, onions. Yes, we've got some mustard greens coming in here. We love mustard greens. <laughs> yes. Especially in salads, you can add them to sandwiches and soups. And this is where the zucchinis are growing. Yes, here's a little zucchini. And this is purple. What this one? This is uh, purple mustard green. Purple mustard green. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, red garnet or garnet giant mustard green. Right next to it, we have some beets growing. That's another. Oh, we love beets. Mm -hmm. We just made beet hummus the other day. Street. <laughs> um, the zucchinis, how it flowers and blooms. Yeah, aren't these beautiful? I heard that um, the zucchini flowers are edible as well. Yes, I was just talking about this earlier with some of the volunteers. So you can see on this plant there are two different types of flowers. So this, for example, is a male flower, and then this grew from a female flower. Um, and so the female flowers are different in that they don't they're, they're, they don't have such a long stem the the, the stem kind of comes right off of the main the main stem of the plant and so the male flowers have this long much longer stem and so if you were going to harvest some flowers yes. to make fried zucchini blossoms yes. you would you would take the male flowers you wouldn't want to take the female flowers because that would decrease the amount of zucchini that you got Got it. But theoretically, you could take the male flowers and still have a similar, a similar harvest. So this farm is completely organic. They are growing so much produce and so much produce, and they have volunteers that come in and help harvest all that, do compost, and you know take care of the till the land. This is about three and a half acres and if you go across the rivers they have another six acres.
my favorite with these cherry tomatoes these are like when you literally eat these cherry tomatoes from a store bought versus this this is so sweet and so natural. juicy and natural look at this these are like almost purple tomatoes you cut them and these are also so sweet look at the charred the squash. leaves squash the onion zucchini uh, cumber cucumber fennel. wow Green onions, green onions and a bag of mixed greens. This is so like tangy crunchy at the same time, and crunchy, delicious. delicious. Can't wait until I have my salad. Yummy. Crunch, crunch, munch. Mm. So we're gonna make a yummy salad with all the greens and the tomatoes cucumbers and use all these vegetables in it. Stay tuned. Look at the Swiss chard. Wow, sweetheart, you made such a good salad from all the greens are organic from white harvest farms. And this is like the Dr. Furman's G bombs. That's right. G is for greens, B is for berries. So we used um, the grapes. grapes. Yeah, you know, <laughs> o is roots. for onion. M is for mushrooms. And look at that organic zucchini. Look at those organic onions. You know, for beans, what we added, I had some black eyed peas. So I added those as beans. And look at these tomatoes. Purple, red, and these are so delightful. Fennel seeds. Lots of herbs. This is how you make a salad, guys. Start with the greens, chop that up, and then and add. Look at those fresh greens from want. White Harvest Farms. Look at this color. Look at this texture. You could add anything to it. Use your imagination. Look at the fennels. Wow. How beautiful. beautiful. See, this makes us so excited when you eat colorful, healthy, food that grows on the farm and it's not processed immune boosting rich in vitamins look at the rainbow colors right so it's like you know all those different colors gives you carotenoids gives you uh, phytos give you micronutrients and doesn't it make you smile yeah i am so excited to eat the salad let's dig in Make sure you visit White Harvest Farm in Jacksonville on Moncrief Road and, and volunteer. Especially the kids are at home, so you know it will be an outing for them. They know they will learn about the fresh produce. They will get connected to the soil. They will know where the food comes from. Earth, nature, pick your vegetables, volunteer, and purchase your produce at White Harvest Farm. Let's dig in.